Hi guys, today I'm going to do a review finally on the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation by Maybelline. I have got this in number 10 ivory and it is SPF 13, which is actually like a really random number. Why 13? What's this one? This is SPF 20. Hmm, interesting. I think I've already been through this before, but whatevs. So I have primed my face. Don't mind my wet hair, I've just washed it. It smells so good. And this is first impressions, I've not used this yet. I don't even, to me it look, kind of looks like the colour's going to be a little bit dark, but I'm hoping it's going to be alright. I've nearly run out, finally, of the Rimmel one. So I thought today I'm going to do a quick review and see if this is any good. Let's go. Right, okay, so, first impressions, I feel like I prefer the Rimmel one so far, shade wise, um, no yeah I think it matches quite well actually, it does match, it matches quite well, it feels a bit oily to me, but I'm not sure, I have to say I've just washed this brush and I, um, I used a new makeup brush washing thing and I'm not sure whether I washed it all out properly or whether it's left it feeling a little bit either so I don't know 100% whether it's the foundation or whether it's the brush. So this is a first impressions video and my first impression, I'm actually quite happy with it. Um, I don't think I'm as happy as I was with this one. This is just amazing, I'm absolutely in love with this. Um, it doesn't skin light essence. I definitely feel this is higher coverage than this one. And I might do a, like um, a comparison video actually. Let me know if you want me to do that. But I'm happy with it. I'll be using it. I'll be using it till it's all gone, definitely. You will see it in some videos. If you have been subscribed to me for a while, then you will know that I go on about this one all the time and I use it in the video and I talk about how amazing it is. So the same thing will happen with this. I'll either say, mm, I'm actually not too keen on this. Or I'll be saying, this is amazing, get it. So just keep watching out for that. But... First impressions, I'm happy with it. It's good. It's natural. It does look quite natural, actually. Um, matchy, what the frig? Shade match. Shade match, I'm happy with. Maybe not as well as the other one. I'm very, very pale. I'm so pale. So actually, this is probably going to be perfect in like a month's time when I get a little bit of colour to myself. Because it, it's perfectly fine for me to wear now but it, it has got that little bit of of um tannishness to it because I'm so pale but yeah I'm quite happy with this actually Woo! so I hope this was helpful I um if you've used this then leave me some comments let me know your opinion of it I definitely would say it's not as high coverage as the other one so it's more probably more of a medium coverage it's not a low coverage though I'd say medium coverage, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very, very soon. And make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, because that would be awesome. I love you guys lots, and I'll see you soon.